My MDRT book club recently read The Long Distance Leader. And I realized in this book that all leadership is really from a distance. Unless you're sitting next to the person all day, every day, you're leading from a distance. And I was mowing my grass, listening to the book, because that's how I read my books. I listen to them and it hit me. And I realized that really all leadership is done remotely or virtually from a distance. And so the question became, what is it that you need to do if you're leading remotely? You could be four desks down the hall. You could be four blocks down the street or maybe even four time zones away. But what could we do to be more effective? And in the book, it talks about making sure that the accidental, those casual conversations that happen just in the flow of things, maybe at the coffee maker, uh, maybe at uh, the elevator while you're waiting to go up or down from the office, that those conversations need to continue to occur. And when you're leading virtually or remotely, you need to be more intentional about making sure that those conversations happen. And so for me, uh, early in the week, maybe the first or second day, I'm making sure that I talk to each of my team members. And the first thing that I say to them is, so how was your weekend? I want to find out how they're doing in order to build that rapport with each of the folks that are on my team. Because the leadership might be remote or virtual, but the relationships are close and the results are real.